Hi everyone, this is Jamie Proviance, making today filet mignon with port cherries and thyme. You may be familiar with the expression dress to impress. Well, this is grilling to impress. This is the recipe you want to pull out when the new boss is coming over or, or maybe the in-laws or anyone in the neighborhood who just needs to be dazzled. This is absolutely delicious recipe. Of course, features these beautiful steaks, the filet mignon. And what I'm going to do to really boost them is to season them um, with some freshly ground pepper. And I like to use the coarsely ground, um, as you see here. This really gives the steak a, more of a pop of a peppery flavor. I've also got some chopped thyme on here and some kosher salt. And I want to press all these seasonings into the meat so they stick on there. They stay there while they're grilling and just let them sit for, you know, 20 minutes or so um, because you don't want to put a cold steak, particularly a precious steak like this, right onto the grill. Now, let's talk about this, this sauce, really. It's a cherry sauce based upon port. I've already got some butter melting in a skillet here. And the first step is to, is to sweat some shallots. Got about a half a cup of shallots going in. And the idea now is just to, to create the, the base flavor. Um, these are the, the aromatics, we say, um, in the sauce. And it's going to take probably about five minutes for them to get really tender and for them to start to release their, uh, their flavor and their juice. You don't really want to brown them at this point. You just want to get them tender and, and sweated, as sometimes it's called. So I'll let that go, and we'll be back in just a minute. So about five minutes later, the shallots are nice and tender. Now I'm going to add a little bit of thyme and just uh, let those cook in the butter and the shallots for 10 seconds or so. It really does release the, the oils in the herb. It smells fantastic. You can tell this is going to be a fabulous sauce. Now we've got one type of cherry going in. These are the dried cherries. and the port. Now be careful when you do this. There's alcohol in this port. In fact, it's a good idea to take the pan off of the heat and then pour it in, put it back over the fire, and uh, be careful. It may actually flame up at this point. If it does, don't panic. It's fine. Um, all the alcohol will burn off. What we want to do now is reduce that pork, which means to cook it uh, until about half of it evaporates, and that's going to concentrate the flavors and it's going to begin to sort of tighten up the sauce and make something really luscious and delicious. So the port has reduced nicely. There's about a half a cup of that left in there. Now we do the second reduction, which is with uh, beef broth and a second kind of cherry. In this case, these are fresh Bing cherries or whatever fresh cherries that happen to be in season where you are. And we're going to do the same thing, cook these down until about half that liquid has been um, evaporated and all the flavors have an opportunity to, to marry. Now is a good time to, um, well, either finish the sauce or grill the steaks. What you could do is just reduce this down by half uh, and then stop, set the sauce aside, and then finish it right before you're going to serve. And you finish it by adding a little bit of butter and seasonings. Um, or you could do what I'm about to do, which is to go ahead and grill the steaks now, let this continue to reduce, and the sauce and the steaks should be finished just about the same time. Got my grill set up for high heat because um, I'm doing steaks. I'm going to turn off this burner on the far right, just in case I do need some indirect space um, a little bit later. Let's put these beauties to the heat. The key now is to let these go for at least three or four minutes. Just don't touch them and close the lid. Steaks are looking pretty sensational, if you ask me. 
I'm going to set them down on a beautiful platter to rest for just a couple of minutes while I finish the sauce. They're just so, so proud and dignified, these filet mignon. I love them. All right, now the sauce <clears throat> needs a little bit of seasoning now. Some pepper and some salt and um, a little bit of richness in the form of butter. Um, and you want to be careful here just to add the butter a little bit at a time so that it doesn't separate. And wait till the first tablespoon or so is fully incorporated. And then add the second amount and just stir that in. And as I said, you could make this sauce up until the butter portion ahead of time and just set it aside and then reheat it and add the butter right at the end. But as you can see, this gives the sauce this nice sheen and, and richness. It sort of softens the, uh, the sweetness of the sauce. Look at that. Got to give it a little taste. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is out of this world. You've got to try this recipe. Okay. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this over the steaks themselves. Those beautiful cherries. It's really the port that makes this thing sing. I mean, when it's time to impress somebody, the in-laws, the new client, I don't know, maybe the Queen of England, this is what you want to serve. <laughs>